Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're gonna dive a little deeper into auto text. Uh. Auto text in layout. I forgot that part at the beginning, but we're beyond desktop, so we know what we're doing. Um, so yeah, we did a video before where we talked about some basics of auto text, some auto text that's already embedded into some of the default scrapbooks, uh, played around with that a little bit. Um, but we can go deeper than that. And you guys said in the comments, like we'd like more and learn more about auto text. So let's talk about getting into and setting the properties of some auto text fields and using them in our layout documents. Here we go. Okay, so again, to put in auto text, I need to start by creating a text field. So it's simple, I'm gonna put a text field in here. And now I can always go up to text and I can say insert auto text. And then I have all these things I can just drop in. Um, these are, it's, it's nice. It's awesome that these are in here so I can just put stuff in quick and easy. If I put in something like file name, it's going to say file name. And if I click outside, I close that text box because it's auto text and it'll figure out what is the file name. In this case, it should show community center detail sheet because that's the file I'm in community center detail sheet. So that works. If I ever come in to edit it, of course, it's going to show me the auto text again. That's a primer. Um, so where does this information come from? So some auto text is just straight up pulled out of the file. Pretty simple. That that file name is the file name. That's all there is to it. Um, but there's other text that we have, have some control over. So right now, I'm not inputting text and I'm not editing text or anything. I can go in at any point and hit customize auto text. And this is going to show you some of the auto text features and the way it's going to look. So if we look at address, it shows, what's it gonna show there? It's gonna show the address. Makes sense, right? Uh, <laughs> so the address that is attached to the file will show up there. Author name, <clears throat> company name, pretty simple. We get into date and we end up with a little bit of an option here. <coughs> <coughs> At the top, it does show, here's what the auto text tag is, and then here's an example of the auto text. But down at the bottom, we actually have the ability with this one to make a change, right? So I can come in here and I can change what is the format I want. So I'm here in the US of A where we put month, date, then year. If you're anywhere else in the world, you probably do that different. And that's that's cool. And you can just type that in, pretty simple here, month, D, comma, year. So you can put that information in there. Um, the other dates, very similar things, similar fields. Um, and if we get down in here, uh, I'm gonna jump over this one actually, file name's pretty simple. But here I do have some other options, display file extension, to fi display full path, where is the file? So if you're putting this on to uh, you know an information box on the front of the model, like not just what is this file called, but where is it actually stored on my server or, 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 or something like that, uh, I could actually include that information automatically. Some of these other things I have, um, what is the page count? What is the page name? What is the page number? Um, page name is pretty simple. It literally says page blank. Um, these ones are kind of interesting because page count is the total count where page number is the current number. So if I wanted to say something like page blank of blank, I could put page number of count, and that would give me that. The numbers down here, the stuff I have down here is gives me the ability to uh, control what that is, right? So here, um, what is my first page? So in this case, it's starting with page one rather than the cover. And I have the ability to change that. If I wanna say my full page count, I wanna see everything all the way from the cover, I could do that. If I wanna exclude the cover and start on page one, I could start on page one. And say, what number do I wanna start at? This isn't saying which page am I starting at, but like what number is the first number? So what I could do is I could say, okay, don't include the cover in the count, but start the pages at two. So my first page is page two, even though that's not included in the full count. That sounds confusing. I don't know why you would do that, but you could. 
Uh, and then of course you have the style. What do we want to call this? One, two, three, zero, one, zero, two, zero, three, A, B, C, blah, 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 blah. You guys, you guys can read. I don't have to read you what's on the page. And then what is the last page? So where, where do we go to? The default is whatever the last page is. If there's something like addendum or other pages that are on the end that I don't want included in that count, uh, I could say stop counting at page whatever. And then the very similar here, not so much as where do we go, what do we do, but like what is my style of number, where am I starting, and what page am I starting on? So pretty simple. Um, so I have these options, you know, I could actually go through sheet names is another one, a little bit different. I can start num numbering over again. Uh, so I can change the number that actually shows up in the corner, meaning not like page one, two, three, four, five of 10, but like this is, this page is uh, an architectural page. So it's gonna be A something versus B something versus that sort of thing. So uh, I can actually put that in there with my format, I can put in what the, the sheet name is going to be. Um, so these are all automatic and they're pretty simple. Uh, if I do hit plus right here, I'm gonna get an option and these are gonna link to existing tags, right? So these, are, these have some level of customizability and link to something that already exists. Um, I can do something, so sheet is really just a sequence. So that's just going in and saying, put these things in sequence as they exist one after another after another. That's all that sheet is. So sheet's not something special. It's not tied to pages like the page count is. Sheet number is a uh, just a sequence tag. And all it did was say, okay, start with this and then with this format, increment one at a time is all that sheet is. Um, some other one, the rest of these do connect to some of the other, you know, uh, pages. So we do have page count in their page name. Those are the same ones here. One of the ones that's not on here is custom text. Let's go ahead and add custom text. So I'm going to add a custom text field and I'm going to call this, um, maybe we'll call this like our, uh, sorry, I'm going to put, keep it in the brackets and say inclusions. So maybe this is just an inclusions list that I want to put in here. I'm going to come in here and just paste in some, some filler text, uh, some lorem ipsum. Uh, but what you could do is I could have some text that I put in over and over and over again. So with layout, you can of course import text files. You can just go in and create a text file and then we, we just drop in a text file and put that on there, that works absolutely. But if it's the same stuff you put in all the time, you can make this real simple by just having it connected to a text. So now, if I come in here and I go here, okay, put a text field right here like this and uh, insert the auto text of uh, inclusions. I going to say that, but as soon as I close it, it's going to grab all that text and just fill it in there. Uh, then of course I can do things like I could change the text size to make it fix or fit or change the box size. At that point, it is just a list of, it's just a block of text inside. Uh, but if it's the same thing, I do that regularly, I can just create that auto text. The other thing I was talking about was page blank of blank. Let's do that real quick. So I'm gonna drop this in here like this, and I'm gonna say page, and then we're gonna go up to text, insert auto text, and this is page number of, oops, we got space, of space text, insert auto text, page count, and then that's it. We click here, it's gonna say page two of two. Now, because this is auto text, this is the cool thing about this, is because it's auto text, I could make this part of my template. I know we haven't recently done a video on templates, but it's on the list. We'll come back once we've covered some more of this automatic stuff and talk about how to bring a new template. But I could take it just as it is, and Command C to copy it, hop back over to page one, and let's paste that in and look what happens. Page one of two, page two of two because it knows what page it is because the auto text is looking where it is and tells you that. So I can create that once and then I could do that cut and paste on each page or I could actually save it into my template. If I was to come in here and make a new page and I, again, copy that. You see how that bumped up? This is now page two of three. If I come on here and paste that, this is now three of three. 
So it adjusts not only what is the page, but what is the total, because again, I know I'm saying this a lot, it's auto text. So hope that helps and uh, gets you a, a better feeling of how those editable auto text fields work uh, up here in the text menu. So we're doing this piecemeal. We're doing little bits here and there, uh, but uh, I'm, I'm hoping that is the next piece. We're gonna do. We're gonna probably do some more. Maybe talk more about text or auto text if you guys want to go even deeper with that. Uh, we've had several requests to do templates, so I want to talk about how to make templates uh, in layout. And actually, we've had requests for templates in SketchUp too. So we'll go back and do some some of those. And then I was thinking about maybe doing some uh, scrapbook work. If you guys have questions on how scrapbooks function, uh, that sort of thing. Let me know down in the comments. Uh, tell me what part of layout we should we should dive into and uh, go a little bit deeper. If you like this video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos and a live stream every week and you'll be notified of all of it if you subscribe. Most importantly though, like I was saying, leave us a comment down below. What do you think of auto text? Are you using it like this? Um, do you think there's some other piece of layout that would make a good video? Is there a part of your workflow that you stumble on that you think there might be a better way, but you're not sure what it is? Let us know in the comments. We like making these videos a lot. We'd like to be more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.